So one uh, from one uh, tech evangelist to another, even though she works with Microsoft. I want to go with them on. Who's the senior tech evangelist at Microsoft Canada? Thank you. Hi, my name is Laura Lawrence, and I'm a software developer. That's how I introduced myself for the first 14 years of my career. At that time, I believed in the meritocracy myth that I put my uh, head down and I did great work. I would be promoted. I would have a great, amazing experience for you, right? <laughs> 14 years in, I took a look around, and I realized the path that I was on wasn't exactly leading me in the direction that I thought I was going. My career was stagnating, and I was at a crossroads in my personal life as well. As luck would have it, at around that same time, a former colleague of mine who was running a global user group reached out and asked me if I would be willing to take it over. The attendance was declining and you really didn't have the time or the energy to put into rebuilding the community. So I took it as an opportunity that I was so willing to embrace because I really didn't want to deal with the things that were going on in my personal and professional life. It was a welcome distraction. So I enlisted a group of volunteers and we put in the hard work to rebuild that community from the ground up through revamping and community outreach, reimagining the way that we present sessions. And at the same time, I really wanted to appeal to the broader community. I didn't want just the small subset of people who knew about our group to be the only ones attending it. I wanted to show that we were open and welcome and inclusive. So I started attending other community groups, meeting technical professionals and students and hobbyists and enthusiasts. Anyone who just had a love of tech, come join our group, come be a part of what we're doing. I also reached out to other community leaders and I volunteered at their events because I know how hard it is to put together an event like this and all of the work that goes on behind the scenes. And that enabled us to work together and cross promote our group. And it flexed a lot of skills and muscles that I didn't realize I had. All of a sudden, I was no longer defining myself as a software developer at company XYZ. That was a small sliver of my identity. And that's where I was looking for validation that I never really got. But through community and all of the hard work that we were doing, I had skills and I developed skills that transcended company and roles, that made a difference in my professional life and also in my personal life. And that also built up my self-confidence. And so I started doing that for others, coaching and mentoring. Seeing that where people were at a crossroads in their career or maybe just starting out with their career and giving them the advice and the guidance and the support so they didn't make the mistakes that I made. And if you 14 years thinking they were just going to get promoted by proxy. And that day when I accepted that challenge to take on a new group and lead a community, I didn't understand the ripple effect that that would create within my own life. And all of the new and amazing people that I would meet, the friendships that would forge, and the relationships that I would build as a result. And through that, it just opened up a whole new world for me. Opportunities that presented themselves that I then was more open to and more excited to volunteer for. Like being a technical presenter and mentor at some of the most notable technical events in the region. Being invited by APRAC to author a technical book, which I did, and then co-author a second book, which I did, and then being invited by another networking connection to contribute to her book project. So I contributed a chapter about my obstacles as a working mother in the tech industry. And then having the gumption to look at the conference book and say, I don't like that it's all men out there, and maybe a few women. I want to add to that diversity. I want to be that role model. And I started applying to speak at conferences. And sure, I got rejected a lot. But then I also got accepted. And after having a few conference sessions under my belt, I then started receiving invitations to speak at conferences in Canada and the United States. And while all this was going on, I was started receiving recognition when I didn't even expect it. I was awarded the Microsoft Most Valuable Professional Award three years in a row. Now this is an award that is only awarded to about 4,000 individuals, technology experts and community leaders around the world. And I was now part of that group. So my networking circle over those years had expanded from my working team within the company to the Kitchener Waterloo region, where I met a number of amazing people, and it just kept expanding from there, across Canada, across the US, and now globally. 
And so I look back on that for that day when I thought I was just going to take on this group as a welcome distraction, and, and nothing else was going to really matter, and I was really going to be stuck in this rut, and I had no hope. And I thought I was supposed to be breathing life into this community group, when in reality the community was breathing life into me. And so let me take a moment to reintroduce myself. My name is Lori Lavon, and I am an author. I am a community leader. I am a mentor, and I'm an international conference speaker. And right now I happen to work at Microsoft as a technical evangelist, where I work with companies leading their digital transformation into the cloud. Thank you.